Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Naheed, back to watch my Stargate SG-1, here to watch Season 5, Episode 19. Holy shit. Wait, 18 or 19? Yeah, 19, 19. It's one titled, it's one titled Menace. Uh, let's just get this thing going. Thank you again for being here. I appreciate and love every one of y'all. And uh, let's get this party started. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. She looks like she's sleeping. She looks like she's sleeping. Is these energy readings I'm getting? She thinks it's a robot, sir. Ted? I'm positive this is some sort of artificial life form. What? Well, it appears to be inactive at the moment, sir. I'm getting only very faint energy readings. What if it becomes What if it just wakes up? What if it just wakes up? Her name is Danielle Nicolette, maybe? That's some sort of nanotechnology? They seem to be some sort of self-repair mechanism. Yeah, but they're inactive. I was just about to try to... Wow. Wow. Yeah, exactly. That's what I would say if I saw that shit. Wow. Carol O'Neill, Dr. Jackson, Major Carter and I were just discussing whether or not to activate the robot. I'm hoping that that was enough to maintain the memory systems. Assuming it had any to begin with, of course. Of course. Why do you want to... Yeah. <laughs> well, sir, this, this is an incredibly advanced piece of technology. It's functions work. The neurological system seems to be as complex as a human brain. So? Exactly. So? Girls be talking about fairy tales, but then they get all crazy when guys try to sleep, kiss them in their sleep. <laughs> There's a pulse. It has a heart. It's designed to create a very realistic illusion of humanity. It's so crazy with the AI stuff going on nowadays. Where am I? My name is Reese. Where's my father? We're not sure. Why did you bring me here? Well, I, I suppose there's no easy way to tell you this, but the civilization on your planet was destroyed. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, just give her a we second. I mean, sort of hoping you could tell us. I get it. As you can see, it's walking around like a human. And has emotions. I was asleep. Well, as far as we could tell, you were the only survivor. I mean, better she hear this now, bro. Like, fuck. Well, I'd really like to know more about how you work. I don't think she even knows. Your systems, how they function. Does she? I'm like you. Uh, not exactly. At least as far as I can tell. I don't think she knows. I don't think she knows she's a robot. Okay, how is that possible? Okay, what are you suggesting? Yeah. Saying that she'll always slap her in the face with the reality of her existence as well as after telling her her planet was destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe we're talking to the stored consciousness of a real human being who once did have a real father. I don't know. Past experience should be telling us to be careful about deciding what is and what isn't a life form. Yeah, I'm with that. All I'm saying is if she really doesn't know what she is, she has a right to be angry. She did seem pretty upset. I agree. For a machine. See, this is where only What kind of psychological effect do you want to have? It's like a machine. Whether her being is a result of sophisticated point find out about her and what she knows is by dealing with her on her own terms, at least for now. Couldn't hurt. Wow. Why would somebody attack and destroy an entire civilization to keep one piece of incredibly advanced technology intact? For you guys to take it and fuck Isn't your own world up? I do know a lot. <laughs> what 
can you tell me about the danger that came to your clinic? This isn't. Well, it's a little work to start here. Colonel, you said to look for anything uncharacteristic of the indigenous technology, right? Well, what'd you find? I discovered we found a bunch of these scattered around. I've never seen anything like it before. That's something, bro. Is it Naquita? I've seen these blocks are dead. Probably been on the planet since it was destroyed. Replicators were the cause of the destruction. Oh, never mind. Okay. The first evidence of the replicators in this galaxy. Something still doesn't fit. I mean, the replicators we know go after. Did not catch it. Why would they eat everything on the planet and leave Reese alone? Bug spray? If that is the case, then Reese herself may be the key to helping us in the Asco in our fight against the replicators. It's kind of hard to pin down on a conversation. Our attention wanders as slight as the mind of a child. <laughs> <What? laughs> if Dr. Jackson's right, she is hiding something. We should proceed very carefully with any further interaction. Agreed. Sir, <clears throat> I'm so happy you're here. What's that? Oh, I mean, do you like it? Uh, it's very nice. How did you make this? In fact, there are many different kinds of life forms. This is boring. Oh my god. I know you think that we're the same, but we're not. But despite the fact that you and I look very much the same, we're very different. That's obvious. I mean on the inside. That's obvious too. How? Well, <clears throat> I'm flesh and blood. You are a machine. You are not human. Yes, I am. Get out of there, Daniel. No, you're not, Reese. <laughs> some time and that maybe it's broken or perhaps it never worked right in the first place I love that the call's you calling it an it shut her down? oh I don't know let's ask the man who just had his head cracked open I don't like most of what you say I try to resist <laughs> the urge to shut you through a wall <laughs> Somehow, there has to be more that we can learn from her sir maybe the replicators avoided her on purpose did you guys ever think about it like that maybe and that's what I'm thinking like, you have these guys that literally eat everything. They didn't eat her. What is the reason? You know I didn't mean to hurt you, right? No. She's crazy. I forgive She's fucking crazy. That's some crazy ass shit. I didn't attack you, Reese. It doesn't matter. Let's forget it. No, it's not. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? She's crazy. I am. Anything bad, I promise. And maybe something. Yeah? Remember when you said you wished that you could have more fun? Yeah. What the fuck? Don't be afraid. It's just a toy. <laughs> Did she create the replicators? Know what they can do. She made it. She can control it. Yes, but how did she make it? Well, I think I have a pretty good idea. Nanotechnology. She understands their construction completely. She should know how to defeat them. Or she created them. Maybe she's subject zero. What? I recommend that we contact the Asgard. Maybe they can help. Agreed. I'll send SG2 to try and make contact. In the meantime, see what else you can learn. Yes, sir. <laughs> Kilk has a gun on him. He's just like, no, no, fuck that guy. Oh, bro, this girl is fucking nutty, dude. I would not trust her, man. In this room, who knows what she can do. They destroyed your planet, and please don't tell me you don't remember because I think you do. No, you want to destroy me. She's patient zero. I taught them to defend themselves. When your toys started to attack your world, why didn't you stop them? I tried, but I couldn't. 
She created the replicators. Why did you go to sleep? They killed everyone. They killed my father. Then they went away. You think I'm mad? Yeah. I guess that doesn't work. This girl caused the whole destruction of the universe. Completely clammed up. She thinks we don't like her. Apparently, her impression is that the people in the world thought that she was poorly constructed and wanted her and her toys eliminated. Which would make them far smarter than we are. Oh, yeah. It seems whoever made Reese made a critical error. <clears throat> I would not trust this girl, bro. That is the destroyer of the fucking universe right there, y'all. The cameras in isolation room one are offline, and I can't see it getting back. We got it. Cameras are down. Don't go in there, dude. Proceed with caution. Don't go in there. This is dumb. You guys should have called for backup before you were thinking about going in there. Replicators. <coughs> they, I don't think they did a good job yes, holding her down. This is so fried. So fucking fried. The friedness is like out of the out of out of the world friedness. I feel like. So bad, dude. So fucking bad. Suggest retreating until backup arrives, sir. Hammond's even geared up now, dude. How did we allow for this? Uh... She's gonna leave to the Stargate. How did this fucking happen? I am just in complete, like, what the fuck right now. How did this fucking go down, dude? Replicators that we're used to dealing with. Right now, she's controlling them. If Daniel can shut her down, the replicators might just cease to operate. Activate the Stargate. No. No, I don't want you to go. You hate me. No, I don't. No one does. They're afraid of me. Yeah? Never have a friend. I'll be your friend. Your toys may be a lot of fun, but... You're trying to disable me! Yeah, Roger that. We're going in. So bad, so bad, so bad, so bad. Even fucking Hammond knows how to handle that shit like a shotgun, bro. He's just fucking ready for a goddamn war, bro. This is looking so bad, though, bro. Shotguns are the best way. Five minutes. Sir. Daniel's got to do that talk no jutsu. I didn't do it! Yes, you did. You created the replicators. You told them to replicate at all costs. They destroyed your world and you let them. You could stop them now before you lose control. <laughs> This is so nutty. Two. I know. But now you're gonna destroy mine too. I don't want to. Then stop! I know. Mm. 
Menace was the name of this episode. Jesus. She did that. I think she did that. Fucking spare, holy shit. Good to see Hammond in action though, by the way. That was nice. That was sweet. Yes, yes. Well. Yeah, sure. She was shutting him down. I had no way of knowing that. Neither did you. He just killed the only chance we ever had of stopping. This is the way it had to go down. And you know it. They can't repair her? Like, give her to the Asgards and shit? All units, success G1 United, commence sweep. Want every one of those damn things out of here. Oh man, okay. This one was a, a good one. A fucking damn good one, guys. This one was really, really fucking good. So, we know the origin of the replicators. A small, feeble minded robot girl created these things. It's. It's like a, a, a child basically is the har harbinger of death of the whole entire universe. It's it's kind of poetic. <laughs> I mean, for real. Like, it, it in a way, it kind of is, dog. Like, you know, it's just the feeble mind of a child is what did this. You know, she felt, from what I'm understanding, she felt hated by everybody where she was. She kept being told that she wasn't made right. And she wasn't really loved by anybody but her dad, which caused her to create these things. And because she felt she had no protection, she made them protect her. And then she eventually lost control of it. And that is what gave birth to the replicators. And they are all around the universe right now, destroying everything. Like the Asgard are baffled at what's happening. And again, this was created by a girl, a young girl. And I know she's a robot, she's an, she's an advanced form of AI, but like, let's just be real and like, just, just look at it from like, out, out of that context. That is a young girl childlike as fuck you know probably plays with barbies and shit and that is what created this it's so crazy to me i i love sometimes the origin stories of how some of these things are done and how, how they're made because it's just, sometimes it's like the most easiest thing to happen like her toys her little toys destroyed her planet and now the whole entire universe and galaxy um where this heads, I have no idea. I am a little, how do I say this? Uh, I just wonder what's going to happen with her. Like, I know they got that little thing out of her or whatnot, but like, can they repair her? And why would the Asgard not reply back to us? That's not good if the Asgard are gone. That's very bad. That's just really bad because they are neck deep in this fight against the fucking replicators and it's just looking so goddamn terrible. Um, yeah, and I wonder what this is going to do between Daniel and, uh, and, uh, oh my God, O'Neal. Because in my opinion, you know, I think Daniel, maybe, maybe because I'm just too naive, maybe Daniel could have saved that shit. You know, she was listening and, and, and I don't know, she was going through a panic attack and all this other shit. 
But it looked like she was listening to Daniel there for a second. But, like, O'Neal had to do what O'Neal had to do because at the end of the day, the life of, you know, everyone else is way more important than the life of one. And I get that. So it's a really hard take on this whole situation. But it is what it is, right, fam? It is what it is. All right, y'all. On to the next one. Let's get this thing going. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. And uh, thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Peace.